almost. Hang on a second. Mm, close. Well, I'm Craig Rochelle, and I'm really honored to speak to all of you at Switch during this new year. I want to talk to you about having a very relational commitment to God. If you're like me, there was a time in my life where I thought, how can you have a relationship with God? In fact, when I was um, a little kid, I went to a vacation Bible school. It was a little uh, backyard Bible study where all these kids got together and we played with graves. Mm, well, that was really almost, put that one back for another day. And at the end of the Bible school, they said, uh, everybody close your eyes and raise your hands if you know God. And I thought, how do you know if you know God? How do you know a God you can't see? So I didn't raise my hand. And then evidently I was the only one who didn't raise my hand because a grown up came and took me, the only kid, behind the garage and towered over me and said, if you don't know God through Jesus Christ, then you're gonna to go to hell. And they scared the you know what out of me. I ran all the way home and as a little kid, I started asking myself, can you really know God? Well, there's a story in Scripture that shows us that not only should we know God, but we should do more than know Him. In fact, the story is found in Luke chapter 10, starting in verse 25, um, and this is the story. It says, on one occasion, an expert of the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? In other words, what do I need to do to go to heaven? Well, what, what is written in the law? He replied, how do you read it? And he answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind. Love your neighbor as yourself. Not quite. Love God with all your heart. Think about that phrase. God wants us to love him with all of our heart, all of our mind, all of our soul, all of our strength. God wants to love us, a relational word, to God wants us to love Him, a relational word, with all of our heart, with everything in us. The problem is for me, I didn't know God personally, and if I would have, it would have been with part of my heart and with not all of my heart. We're talking about almost, which I'm going to get a great before the day is over. I can just tell it. I can feel feel it. Almost is an interesting word. God didn't say to love him with most of our heart, but with all of our heart. Think about almost. If you're going on an airplane, you don't want to almost catch a flight. That happened to me one time and I didn't make it. I almost made it. You don't want to almost have a safe landing. That would be very bad. Think of it relationally though, about almost when it comes to relationships. Uh, you wouldn't want to date someone who's almost faithful to you, would you? You wouldn't want your parents to almost stay married, and yet so many do and they end up not. You wouldn't want a best friend who's almost loyal to you, but she's not, or he's not. Almost is really interesting when it comes to relationships. Think about this, almost. God doesn't want us to almost love him. He doesn't want us to love him with part of our heart, but he wants us to love him with all of our heart. In fact, if I were really honest, I'd say that growing up, I was an almost Christian. I believed in God here, but I didn't love him or know him here. You could say I was missing God by about 18 inches. I was an almost Christian. I believed in him, but I didn't know him. As you start this year, I want to ask you, are you a fully devoted follower of Christ or are you an almost Christian? Do you believe in God or do you know Him and love Him personally? You see, for me, growing up as a teenager, I wanted to add Christ to my life, but I, I didn't want to subtract sin. I wanted enough of Jesus to keep me out of hell, but not so much that it made me change my behavior. Uh, maybe that's the way you are. Perhaps you're willing to do the Christian thing at switch but you don't want to claim Christ boldly at the football game on the weekends because, well, you know, people might make fun of you. Perhaps you want to be a good kid in front of the teachers, but when you're with your friends, you're totally different. You're almost Christian. Maybe you'll carry your Bible to switch, but you don't want to carry your Bible to school because you know what people would think. You've got an almost commitment. Here's what I want you to do. Think about this. Almost. Think about this. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the lowest and 10 being the highest, 
If the standard from God for you is to love God with all of your heart, what number would you give yourself? The 10 is all of your heart. What number would you give yourself? Would you say you're a nine, you're almost there? Would you say you're a two, you, you barely love him at all? On a scale of one to 10, I want you to think about it for a moment and to be really honest. If the standard is to love God with all of your heart, one to 10, what number would you give yourself? As you think about it, I want you to get more specific. Let's say you're a six, let's say you're a four, let's say you're a two. Define specifically what area of your heart has been off limits. As you look back over the last year and you think about how you lived, what specific area of your heart maybe was off limits? What part of your heart did you almost love him with? For example, maybe you have some friends that aren't Christians and you weren't willing to share your faith with them. That, that part of your heart was off limits. Maybe you wouldn't take a stand for Christ one time because you were afraid of what people were going to think. That part of your heart was off limits. Maybe you don't totally trust God with your future. You, you say, I'll do some things, God, but there's some things I just don't want to do. Maybe there's a certain group of friends that you just aren't bold around. You, you, you conform to them rather than being conformed to the image of the one who gave his life for you. Maybe when you're dating someone, there are certain things that you know, you know, I probably shouldn't be doing, but well, you know, I'm kind of in love with this person, and you're giving that person more of your heart than you are God. Be really honest. What part of your hearts are off limit? Uh, maybe your parents aren't committed Christians, and you're having a hard time sharing their faith, your faith with them. Uh, maybe you really do love God, and, and you love being a switch, but you're, you're not serving here to make a difference. You're not serving other students and impacting lives because you, you love God with some of your heart, but not all of your heart. Here's the deal. God doesn't want to be a part of your life. He doesn't want to be an almost. He wants you to love Him with all of your heart. I want to encourage you to be prayerful, to take a few moments and just, just focus on God right now. Tell him any area of your heart that's been off limits, just even right now, just kind of close your eyes and take a moment and just say, God, here's what I haven't given you. Talk to him. I want you to think about who he is and what he's done and recognize that he sent Jesus not only to forgive your sins, but to reveal himself to you. He is a relational God. His greatest desire is that you know Him as He knows you. God doesn't want part of our hearts. Everybody can look up here again. He wants all of it. As you start this new year, I pray that you're not an almost Christian, but you are fully devoted follower of Christ. Caught it.